So in this video is not the sneaker review as usual. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm gonna do a quick review on this uh, peacoat that I bought in Korea. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my four different looks I create to go with this peacoat. So some of you guys know that I've been on a trip last month to South Korea to visit my friend. Man, I'm a good friend, man. I just fly all the way from America, 16 hours to see my friend in Korea. I've seen a lot of cool stuff in Korea and the culture in Korea are amazing. The people are also amazing. A visit my friend was a great experience love the feeling in a career i feel i was in peace you know i really enjoy the time that i spent there this trip basically is my main focus was really learning about korean culture and also korean cuisine i ate ton of food there i love the korean food to me asian cuisine are the best cuisine in the world when you just focus in the food and the culture, you don't really spend a lot of money. And also I'm lucky that I have my friend took me a lot of places to eat affordable food and good. Um, that's why I truly appreciate him. You know what I'm talking about if you watch this uh, video, you know, thank you, man. Uh, I definitely gonna see you again uh, next year. Wasn't really expecting to get anything in a career. However, though, uh, my friend and I, we, go visit a lot of local brand in Korea. Um, I was amazed about the quality, the detail of the local brand. I think my next trip, I definitely gonna spend a lot of money for shopping because there are a ton of cool stuff in Korea. Um, the brand that I really uh, into was uh, Krell. I don't know if I pronounced correctly uh, years ago and some other brand too, I don't really remember. But I have the list of the brand name in uh, the description box below for you guys to check them out. I bought two items. Uh, one is the hat. You know, we're not going to talk about just the hat, you know, in this video. Uh, the main focus here is uh, this uh, peacoat that my younger brother asked me to get. Their brand have a lot of cool detail, especially the stitching detail on their jeans and also on their jacket but the biggest downside was they don't make my size so that's why i really really disappointed i mean uh, most of the korean brand they don't really make size xs the smallest size in most of the korean brand was really say s xs sizes is really rare for a guy i mean i have a small body too you know um that was the biggest downside but also in a good way because if they don't have my side then i'm not gonna spend money on the clothes that i don't need this pico is really nice uh, the cut the detail the quality on this uh, is really super you know compared to a lot of brand here in the state um they not really have the quality and the fit you know most of the time like my younger brothers they're very picky in the fit and the quality of the products you know especially you spend a lot of money on the pico in the state um minimum you will spend like i think four to five hundred dollar for a good quality pico uh this one uh we bought is only three hundred thousand won which is uh approximately around like 250 this pico they have multiple detail that i want to point out the quality that they use on this pico is great 85 percent wool 5% cashmere and um, the last 10% is nylon which is they use this for uh, the lining. The fitting on this Pico though is oversized. Um, the sizing on this is size M. My younger brother's height is 5A so it's fitting really good with uh, this oversized Pico size M from years ago. The measurement with uh, this Pico is the shoulder from seam shoulder to shoulder is 18 inches. The bottom of the collar to hem is 33 and a half inches. Uh, the armpit to armpit is 22 inches and the full sleeve is 25 inches. My friend, I tried him on, he is around like 5'6 or 5'7. 
um, it's also side M fit him really good too. He even tried on the side S to see how it feel. He told me that the, the armpit is kind of snug. So if you want a snug fit around your armpit, then you should go for side S. And uh, this Pico, they have two big pocket in the front and also like very deep too, you know. If you check out like my hands go all the way down, you know, almost touch my elbow. This one has a big pocket. You put a lot of stuff in there. Love the color on this, especially the adjustable, like the strap right here, you can pull all the way up in your peacoat. Just create a different aesthetic when you wear this peacoat. This color is covered all the way up to your nose. And also inside of this peacoat, they have uh, two pockets, the one in the bottom, and also in the top, around the chest area. And also this Pico, they have the removable belt. If you don't like the belt dangling, then you just take out the entire belt. It's removable. Uh, the buckle quality is really good too, you know, uh, as you can see right here. It's the form finishing on this buckle. I mean, I love this Pico, man. Um, it's just, unfortunately, it's my height. It just don't really look good with uh, this Pico. Pico in general, you know, I only look good with uh, tall people, which is, I'm a little bit jealous about my younger brothers. And in this four looks that I'm gonna show you guys is basically my younger brothers style them because I don't really have experience in styling Pico jacket. So that's why I'm just observe the way how he style these uh, four different looks and up next, So there you have it. This is the quick review on this uh, Pico. I think it's a great Pico from the quality standpoint uh, to the pricing and the detail on this Pico are amazing. I would say even my younger brother, the first time when I brought this Pico uh, for him, he imagined with the quality of this Pico. He told me that you can really find anything less than $500 for a nice quality Pico. And also he loved the fit on this Pico, which is the oversized looking fit. 
on this uh, compared to the classic uh, traditional Pico. And if you like one of the look, the way how my younger brother styled them, uh, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week, not just about the sneaker alone. I'm gonna do a lot of cool items that I would like to share with you guys in my YouTube channel. I will see you soon on the next video. I'm out.